Yo guys, Shig here today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get some incredible renders for your Minecraft videos or Fortnite videos. Basically everything using OBS Studio and Sony Vegas. So first I'm going to show you guys the best OBS settings. First things first, you want to always run it as an administrator. Okay, so boom, here we go guys. Okay, so the first and probably the most important thing to do is to set up your actual like video capture and stuff because otherwise you're recording nothing use display capture it gives you more fps so now once you go to settings you want to go to the output section i click advanced right there and then you want to go to recording type standard and then you just save it wherever you want and you can use one or two audio tracks it doesn't really matter i just use one and then change that to mp4 that way vegas will recognize it better and it just works better for your encoder, if you have NVEC, you definitely want to use that. If you don't, um, you can pretty much kiss high FPS renders goodbye. Unless you have like a high tier AMD card, but it's just not going to be as good as um, NVEC. But yeah, NVEC gives you really, really good FPS while recording. Now go to rate control, change it to CQP. And for your CQ level, um, you can do it anywhere from 0 to like i believe it's 40 but the lower the number the better the quality so i just leave mine at 16 just put that at 16 if you want to be super fancy you can get like 15 don't go lower than 15 and don't go higher than 20 so i just use 16 keyframe interval zero preset max performance profile is high uncheck those and put both of those to zero that is very important i'm gonna video and your base canvas should be your monitor's like resolution so mine is 1920 by 1080 so just use that output you want to put it at the same 1920 by 1080 unless you want to upscale but just don't do it here just do that in sony vegas if you really want to i'll show you guys more on that but so put both of these on 1920 by 1080 then downscale filters by linear uh then you want to change this to fractional fps values and then this depends on the fps you get in game while recording so without recording i usually can get like six to 700 fps but whenever i record it takes a hit so i use 360 to be safe but i could sometimes i'll do 500 fps renders so but yeah so put this at whatever fps you get in game while recording anything above 120 is going to be noticeably different than 16 it's just going to look a lot smoother this is the thing that gives you that motion blur insane effect now go to advanced and just to below normal and then leave that at direct 3d 11 nv 12 change this to 709 partial and just apply all of your settings and then click ok and now you're done with obs so now i'm going to show you guys the render settings okay so now we're in sony vegas pro 17 it doesn't matter what version of sony vegas you're using but i'm using 17 so yeah but 15 is fine too so file new here is my template i am going to use my minecraft smooth renders template so copy these settings your width is 1920 by 1080 your field order is non-progressive scan make sure this is at one if it's at 1.3 it's gonna look like crap so use one off zero and then your frame rate right here doesn't matter so put that just leave that at 60 but it really doesn't matter or here 8 bit then you want to put this at best gaussian deinterlace um method it should be blend fields and this should be force resample and then you want to check that box and then you're pretty much good so just press ok and then you can just drag in any video clip and i will show you guys the render settings so here's just a random video clip of me playing some sky wars so now you just double click obviously on your timeline this isn't an edit tutorial i'm assuming you guys know how to do that if you don't then learn you want to click render as if you have your filters on turn them off so uncheck show favorites only and then you want to go to the windows video v11 windows media video and you can just use this one and click customize and yeah basically you want to copy these settings right here your video you want to put it at 2560 by 1440 just it's going to look more crystal clear and smooth tbr windows video 9 and then image size you want to put it at custom so you can actually change it and leave that at one five three override blah, blah, blah. and then what's really important is your bitrate you want to put this at 240 m 
it's gonna make it just look smooth and amazing so yeah um this doesn't matter and then project use best and then okay and then you just want to render it and boom you're gonna get those juicy 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 smooth renders so yeah guys those are my obs settings and my render settings for fortnite and minecraft and just really any game and it's just gonna make your video just a lot smoother and give it that motion blur effect so if you did like the video make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel because i do upload a lot of tutorial videos just like this and i live stream every day so make sure you hit that notification bell my name's shig i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream and of course as always peace out